A busy weekend ahead for the UMass Lowell track and field teams. And saying busy doesn't really explain it very well. Riverhawk athletes will be competing at five different locations during the weekend. The bulk of the team will take part in the Dartmouth Invitational in Hanover, New Hampshire. A couple of middle distance runners will be at the Ocean State Invitational in Providence, Rhode Island. Both of those events are on Saturday. Another group, this one totaling seven runners, is headed for the West Coast and the Mount Sac Relays. Competition starts there on Thursday, and they are competing at various venues. It's not really the Mount Sac Relays. Well, it is the Mount Sac Relays, but it's also the Long Beach Invitational and the Brian Clay Invitational at Azusa Pacific. The West Coast trip will most likely feature the toughest competition, a significant learning experience, and for some, simply a brand new experience. Very excited. Um, this is going to be my second plane ride ever. My first one was to Kentucky in the fall. I've never left the East Coast, so I'm just very excited to get the experience to go out to the West Coast. It's great. I'm hoping to run a PR, but I know that there's going to be a lot of really good girls out there, and the race is probably going to go out a lot faster than I'm used to, so I'm just going to have to adjust to that as I go and just try my best to pace myself. It's going to be very different because they can run outside year-round. They have tracks just open to them all the time. They don't have to worry about the elements, whereas indoor we're stuck on the indoor track all winter we're worrying about the snow the sleet it's very cold here they don't have to worry about that so we're just it's going to be something to get acclimated to it's going to be unlike uh any race that i've ever done so far in the 1500 i expect to take it out uh between 59 to 60 seconds in the first lap so the race style is very different from uh any race i've encountered the competition on the west coast is different that's what head coach Gary Gardner says. If you want to run fast, you don't see people hop on an airplane and go east. They go west. And that is what these Riverhawks are doing. And the key here is the learning experience. For these Riverhawks, this is an experience that will pay dividends down the road. I like to consider that I'm on the verge of being a truly exceptional track and field athlete. My times just aren't quite there yet, but getting stacked up with this level of competition will give me, put me in a good position to learn what I need to do to improve and race better against these kinds of opponents. Yeah, I think I made a lot of progress, especially this winter season. Uh, I got injured at the end of my high school career, so I think just a couple years out from being injured helped me to become a lot stronger, and I've just learned to race better and like take the first 600 of the under it like a little easier and then really kick it in for the last 200. Um, just such a higher level of competition. It's going to be a great experience. Um, I'm running an 800 and a 1500 because I feel like I have such an ability for the 800, but it's so hard because Sometimes it's just the 800 is like sprinters, distance runners, very different. But the 1500, it's like I'm a thousand runner going up, but I'm also a mile runner coming down a little bit. So I, it's just so different. Got to find my spot. So this should be a weekend to get the chance to do that.